I thought Google Analytics was for websites. What does that have to do with YouTube? What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur. And in this quick video tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to add Google Analytics to your YouTube account. And this is critically important because Google Analytics gives you something that YouTube Analytics actually leaves out of your YouTube Creator Dashboard. And that is insights into what happens on your YouTube channel page. This is important because the majority of your subscribers are going to come from your channel page. And what happens on your channel page from YouTube's analytics perspective is actually this giant black box. There's no way to know what people are clicking on to get to your channel page, aka which videos drive the most traffic to your channel page, which videos result in the most subscribers is something that you can find out from analytics, but this is arguably more important because it's gonna tell you which videos are responsible for the most amount of traffic driven to your channel page, and then analytics will also tell you what happens on your channel page. You never really know what's being clicked on. Analytics answers that question. It tells you what is being clicked on on your page. So with that, we're gonna go ahead, dive into my screen here, and I'm gonna walk you through the very basic steps to take to put Google Analytics onto your YouTube channel so you can begin to get valuable insights on how your channel page is performing so you can get more views and more subscribers. Now, the first step will be setting up an analytics account or logging into your current current one. So if you don't already have an analytics account, you can check out the cards or the description for a link to a video that talks about how to set up one of these accounts with Google Analytics. So I already have one set up here. So when you're inside your analytics account, you're going to come down here to admin, which is where I am right now. And you're going to come over here to make sure you select the right account if you have multiple accounts for some reason, and then property, and you're just going to create a new property. And once we're on this page, there's just a few things to fill out and we will get the tracking ID, which is what you need. So you'll go ahead and just name your YouTube channel here. I like to put YouTube in front of it so I know I'm looking at a YouTube channel versus a website and then the YouTube channel name. Then we'll have the URL. So if you have a custom URL, you can go ahead and place that here. Or if, and we'll take out the HTTPS because they don't want that. Or alternatively, you can just go over to your channel and grab this URL and we'll paste it in here. And then optionally, you can choose a industry. I never seem to ever find, whether I'm doing this for myself or clients, it, they never seem to have the industry that I am looking for. So I'm just gonna choose one that's super close. How about business industrial markets? Okay, then choose the time zone. It already has the time zone for me, and then we're gonna go ahead and click Get Tracking ID, and this page will load up, success. So you wanna take this tracking ID number, and we're going to go back to YouTube, and we're going to go to our creator dashboard, you're gonna go to Channel, and then you're gonna click on Advanced, and then you're going to scroll down here, and in this box, paste the tracking ID, we're going to go ahead and click Save, and now, Analytics is installed on your YouTube channel, which means after a few weeks, well, you'll actually see data in a few days, but really you'll give it a, a couple of weeks and you can come back and just go ahead and click home and you'll start to see data populating in these you know, different fields in your dashboard here. So you'll begin to see what videos are referring you the most traffic to your channel, how many times people are clicking on subscribe and all of that fun stuff. So this will give you a lot of insights. Obviously it's blank right now because I just installed it, but it'll give you a lot of insights on what's going on on your channel page so you can optimize it for more subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe for more business building and marketing tactics and strategies just like the ones covered in this video. Over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of growing a YouTube channel from scratch and building a business on the back end. So I encourage you to join myself and fellow aspiring entrepreneurs over there. And if you have any questions about how to install analytics on your YouTube channel, go ahead and comment below. I read and reply to every single one of them. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.